Professor Black Ops, you see it. Let's get it. Technology and relationships. Would you share your personal location with your partner or spouse? <laughs> the millennials wants to do that. So once again, let's look at the article. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend that as a cybersecurity professional. But once again, let's get into the article. Should I share my location with my partner? The answer is not a simple yes or no. That is true. It's not simple. Let's see. Close that down. Key point, sharing your location with your partner is a personal choice. Every relationship is different. One psychologist said it's helpful to look at the location sharing as a part of a solution to a problem. Keep your own mental health and attachments and experience with trauma and relationship history in mind. Share your location with your partner may seem like a no-brainer decision, but it's important to give it some thought. Some feel safer sharing their location with their partners. Others avoid the practice because it feels controlling. Experts say every choice is valid and stress is important to keep your own mental health as well as your attachment and experience with trauma in mind when making the best decision for you. Sharing your location like we do today whether it's Bitmojis on Snapchat or using iPhone, growing number of tracking features, it is a relatively new phenomenon. Licensed psychologists' sides stresses that young people are especially affected in our increasingly digital world. Estimating the issue of location sharing and relationships comes up for about 80 to 90% of the people in their teens, 20s, and 30s at her practice, for example. Wow, that's a lot. 80 to 90 percent in teens 20s and 30s so <clears throat> uh let's see sharing your location should be a solution to focus on it's helpful to think of sharing your location with the partner as a solution to a problem the mindset allows you to best identify what the purpose of location sharing is for your relationship and whether it's walking down the line the first step uh, is asking what is the problem the answer could be found out in how you, your partner, and your relationship functions. Many, couple, many couples have experienced cheating, for example. For some, location sharing is one step used to rebuild their relationship of trust. So that, that kind of makes sense. By location sharing can be hard for in other situations. Someone who already has experienced a lot of anxiety may decide that constantly checking their partner's location could contribute to their fears in an unhealthy way. Others may prefer not to share the location with their partner out out of wanting to protect their sense of freedom, right? Because, you know, if you're sharing it, that does kind of seem a little overkill. But if you and your partner choose to location share, it's important that the practice be part of a package solution. It should not only be the only solution. Look inwards first and communicate. Sharing your location with somebody should always be your choice. If a partner asks you to share their location, it's important to you. Start with you, side said. Look inward and decide whether the practice aligns with your own values and needs. You should then you should then identify your partner's needs and what sacrifice, if any, you're willing to make as part of the solution to the problem. It's a bigger question because the taps into the di dynamic control. This taps into the dynamics of having someone know a lot about you. For some people, it's a really no big deal. There's no control. It's actually transparency and clarity. For others, it will feel like somebody's asking for control and that they will be interpreted based on who you are. Acknowledging where you stand first will help you and your partner in these conversations. The communication is also key in understanding the boundaries that must be respected for a relationship survival. The violation of our boundaries can also be a deal breaker. A therapist and relationship column, columnist for USA Today. If we have not clearly set our boundaries, getting angry at someone for crossing them is unfair. But if we accept clear relationship boundaries, there are violations that can be perceived as an act of disrespect and disregard for who we are in the relationship itself. And I think this is a big part. Miscommunication and trust. If though... If though location sharing can be a successful part of a solution to a problem, side notes that she also seems, sees many miscommunications. 
a lot of people decided to let share location more as a way of silencing some of the other person's anxiety or their partner's complaint, adding that many can later regret these kind of decisions or feel resentment if they didn't take their own needs and values into account. The, real, the reality of low location sharing may also not be with the sign up, especially when couples do not fully discuss the problem it, it aimed at solving and the conditions beforehand. A partner may say, I agree for us to know each other's location, but I didn't agree for you to just constantly monitor me. <laughs> True, I didn't say yes to that. Somebody will say, I did it for other reasons, such as emergencies, but you using it for reasons that I didn't agree to. Right, so, and that, that's a valid discussion to it, so. You want to consider your mental health trauma and more when looking at locations as a sharing, as a solution, it's critical to identify the root of the cause of the problem to, to avoid surface level and use the ineffective quick fixes. Therapist says there there are several main areas to recognize personal mental health, attachment styles, previous experience of trauma and their relationship history. Personal mental health consider both you and your partner's mental health. In some cases, for example, a partner may have anxiety disorder if they're anxious about not knowing. And so knowing your location can help a little bit, but usually people who have that kind of mindset will start worrying about another thing <laughs> that they don't know, right? So like you said, if you have an anxiety disorder, you're going to latch on to something else to worry about. Trauma. Acknowledging, acknowledging any previous trauma or partners may have been cheated on in previous prior relationships, for example, may want to share locations in order to feel more secure. The therapist say relationship history. Prior trauma can include your current relationship history. For those to regain trust, asking for what you need and following through with your actions among key steps. Location sharing might not always be part of the solution, especially for couples who had a controlling dynamic in the past. Attachment styles. Recognize both you and your partner, partner, partner's attachment styles. If you and your partners have different ones, you're going to have to figure out a way to compromise and finding a solution that works both uh, for both of you. So that was it. I just thought that, <laughs> that was interesting. So I put it under technology and relationships. Sharing your per your personal location with your partners and spouse. Uh, would you do it? Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.